Appreciate you being here. Uh, summary uh, last week. Summary again. We had a post game, but having a chance to watch the tape and really uh, watch it, um, you know, kind of reinforced what I really thought. Uh, we ran the ball pretty well. Uh, we rushed for over 200 yards, and quite frankly, probably could have rushed for 250 at least. Um, we had a series. When you go back and watch it sequenced, which I didn't bring with me, but I had it sequenced by sequence. It's pretty amazing. You know, second play of the game, we put the ball on the ground, gave him a short field. Uh, next series, we had, uh, um, whether it was the next or I might have the sequence messed up a little bit, but there was a, a drop ball on third down by a guy that never drops one. Then there was a third and one where we had a uh, 12 guys on the field penalty. And there was a series of things like that throughout the game that every time you're trying to move the chains, you didn't move the chains. It had everything to do with us. And, you know, with all due respect, not really anything to do with them. Yet, because when you really watch it, I mean, we averaged over five yards a carry rushing the ball. And when you're doing that, that shouldn't be that outcome. Uh, our passing game was a non-factor because there was a multitude of reasons. Uh, some were bad down distances, a serious numbers of drops, um, and some, you know, and some sacks that didn't, you know, we probably didn't need to take. So when you just watch it series by series from an offensive standpoint, it's a, it's a hard thing to watch because, you know, once again, and I've been in those games before, you're, you know, you're not, it's not like you're getting smashed or something. That, that's just not happening. But you're stepping on your own foot and you're not executing, which we need to execute because we're not one of those teams. We need to be a very systematic team down the field where then, the culmination of our run game takes an effect on the defense. And when you're not executing a high level and you don't do that, then what happens is, you know, you're off the field and you're on the field, you're off the field, you're not changing field position, you're not feeling any wear and tear. And that's when we're working at our best. And that's, we need to fire that way. So turnovers, penalties, those types of things, all they do is stall drives and they create problems because we're not the kind of team that can remake that up with a multitude of chunks which some teams can do, and we don't really have that kind of firepower. You know, we got one guy that we can do that with, and we, we try like heck to do that. But, you know, so that's, that's kind of a summary. On defense, you know, there are the positives when you, you know, when you, when you, it's like anything else when you put stats up, you know. Uh, we had four sacks, we had five TFLs, we have nine negative yardage plays, you know. Um, okay. Okay. Rushing attempts 110 yards, 2.5 yards per rush, sounds great, but screens, bubbles, QB draws, we got gassed on those. And we didn't create any turnovers. And this team needs to feed off of each other. It has to happen. And we had no real special team hits. So this team's got to feed off of each other. And that's when we're, when we're all working three phases together, because we play hard, and we played hard in that game, I mean, it's amazing. It's like, it's very frustrating because you watch the tape and the kids can see it, and they're like, wow. I mean, there's some great-looking stuff on the film. Both sides. Great-looking. Not okay, but it's terribly, terribly inconsistent, and we have to be unbelievably consistent, where maybe some other teams don't have to be as consistent because they've got some explosive playmakers that can make that up. Just make a play, and all of a sudden, boom, you're down the field 25, 30 yards. And so, but we have to be very systematic, and really truthfully on both sides of the ball. I mean, so, you know, and on special teams, like I said, I didn't think we tilted the field in any way, shape, or form to help us. We didn't have any big return on kickoff return. We didn't have any real big punt return. You know, we didn't have those things happening for us. And that's the way we need to play the game. So, that's kind of the summary of that. But when you look at it through the eyes of, like, how did the offensive line play? How did the running backs play? How did the tight end? You know, we played hard, and we did some really good things. And you watch some of that stuff. That's why, you know, I'm guessing opposing teams and coaches have a lot of respect for us right now when they watch our film. But that's not how we win, and that's why we didn't win that game. Okay? And, you know, that's just the facts of that matter. So here we are. We go into Virginia Tech week, and, uh, you know, Let's, let's just start with the defense, okay? Because it's probably the best defense in America. I mean, it is what it is, you know? Um, 